ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft How to Build. Now today, we are going to go ahead and do a small little project, so we should have time for something else, but right down here, as you can see, we're next to our manual crop farms, and I want to go ahead and build up a little bit of a storage shed, because if you watch some of the interior builds for these houses, they only actually have a lot of storage space inside of them. So now, ideally, if this were a survival world and it were a multiplayer or a single player, either way, you'd want to have some extra storage for the crops or whatever else you might need. Maybe some ores when you go mining or something like that. So we're going to go ahead and put together here a quick little uh, storage shed. Now, I cleared out oh, chicken. I cleared out just a small space here. I don't want to make anything too large because pretty much all it is is storage, which I know I'm going to be saying a lot in this episode, but we're going to go ahead and build up, see if we can't come up with a somewhat unique design for this little building. So we're going to go ahead and start out with the frame as usual. Uh, we're just going to build this up. It's slightly taller than normal, so instead of being... Uh, four, it's actually five high, including that horizontal beam. And we're just going to go ahead and do that on all sides. And now I'm kind of wondering if we could do something over here, but you know, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Instead, let's just go ahead and finish this last beam. Okay, so now I'm thinking for this, in order to make it somewhat unique, I want to go ahead and I don't want it to be just like a regular old building like one of the houses we've already built. I want this to be something a little bit different that you guys haven't seen before and it might hopefully give you some inspiration for some builds in your own world. So now I'm actually, hmm, hmm, I was originally thinking doing this in the center. Let's go ahead and actually build this out one over here. And we'll do something like this. And we'll just go ahead and build it up. And I think we will keep this one at the regular height of four. And that way it should be slightly smaller than the base. This will make it look more like an add-on instead of being just a regular part of the build itself. So now we're going to go ahead and bring out that lower beam and we're also going to connect it up here with this top frame. And we'll bring these two across like this. Okay, and I think a little bit something like that should be good. And, you know, we might make some of these stripped as we go in. That way it's uh, a little bit different. But for now, we're going to go ahead and get right around to that base. Now, we're going to go ahead and just build this building up. Oh, let's see. We do have a lot of oak builds around here, so I'm thinking that maybe we switch this up a little and make the base out of spruce. So we'll do something like that, and then we want the steps to be right up through here. So that should be about where the door is. And then we'll go ahead and finish with the wood planks. For now, we'll just keep it simple and uh, border the frame. And pretty much the border of the frame is where we know the windows will not be so it's kind of a safe way to fill in some of the gaps and openings without having to break those blocks later on okay so uh we this wouldn't really make a good window because it's uh all leaves so we're gonna go ahead and fill that one up and then this one it's pretty much just hill so we'll fill that one up as well Now this one could potentially be a neat little window. We've got a cool view of both the pumpkin patch and uh, Edgar's house up there on the hill. And we'll go ahead and fill in 
the top of that door for now, although we might replace this with stairs here for a little more depth. And this is a pretty nice view as well. Once you get past that tree, you can sort of see the lake out there, along with the fishing uh, dock house. So we'll go ahead and leave it be. Now, I want to go ahead and start throwing in some of these chests and barrels so that we know where everything will be. And you know what? Let's go ahead and replace the floor here as well while we're at it. That way we don't have to worry about doing that later on once we have chests in. Okay, so something just like that should do the trick. And now, I think for this, we'll go ahead and start with just a regular build like so. And you know what? Let's go ahead and do something like this. And it might look a little strange right now, but I have kind of an interesting idea which could be something. So. We'll go ahead and do that, and we'll add one right there, and then we'll leave it be like that for now, and yeah, let's go ahead, ooh, well, actually, yeah, we'll keep building up here, and then uh, we'll see what we got from there. Okay, so hmm, that's actually not going to work very well for what I had in mind. So let's go ahead and do something like this instead. Hmm. Trying to decide if I want to do another stack of barrels like this or if we want to do something else. But we'll go ahead and leave it like that for now. And then we'll add a few more barrels around here. And now up here we're going to go ahead and throw in more of a window. And we'll clear up this rain. And so now we could make this a little window, but it's not a lot of space. So I'm thinking we just do something like that. And so that will just let a little bit of light in. Up here, we're going to go ahead and add the roof frame while we're at it. And actually, let's go ahead and move those windows up to that top part. I don't know. Let's go ahead and leave one of each. That way, once we add the roof, we can sort of go ahead and compare the two. Okay, so now we're also going to go ahead and add a little bit of a frame down here. Connect these two corners, which we forgot to do earlier. Okay, then right up here. I'm thinking we do something like this. And then we can throw some more barrels right here in the center. Now you can build these up however high you want to. Uh, it depends on how much storage room you actually need. I think I'll go ahead and just do something like that for now. And another thing you could do here is, if you wanted to, instead of doing that, you could go ahead and throw in a little bit of a half slab. And that way it becomes a shelf for that, instead of just stacking them up on top of each other. Then we'll go ahead and place the rest of these planks. And let's see, do we want to add a window right there? I think we should. That's a pretty nice view. 
How about over here? It's pretty much just forest right now, but we might have a little view of something here coming up in the future. So we'll go ahead and leave that. Now, let me go ahead and come back down here in case you guys didn't see this. So the way that we built up these barrels, which are all storage space, is you can actually walk up them like a ladder. So this can help you get up to the higher storage section. And if you wanted to, you could go ahead and even throw in a second floor to walk around if you need to get closer. Or you can leave it empty. It's entirely up to you on what you want to do with it. I'll go ahead and delete that for now since we can reach it from here. I'm not too worried about that. And, you know, we could even do the same thing over here on this side. Did it go up to the beam or was it one below? It did go up to the beam. Okay. So the problem with this window design is we can't do that second barrel. But before we go ahead and change that, uh, let's go ahead and make sure that it's how we want it to look. By We'll throw up a dark oak roof up here on the top. And we'll do that pretty... Uh, just a basic design of the... Whoops! Of the one-step roof. If we wanted to, we can make it look a little bit fancier with something like what we did down there on the fishing shack. But in this case, I think this will be enough. It's already got kind of a unique design to its build in the way that it's got an upper level that's a little bit smaller and bigger. I don't know how to describe that. It kind of looks like two buildings that were stacked up on top of each other, so it looks kind of funny. But it's got its own unique design. I don't think it needs to have a roof with flare. And we'll go ahead and add the one overhang onto the sides of this roof. Okay, and the overhang for this side. Then we'll add the stairs on the bottom. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and grab that slab and then we'll compare these two sides. So as it is right now, I'm thinking that we can either do it like that with stairs on the bottom, which looks pretty good. Or we can go ahead and do the half slab as well, but that kind of gives it more room right there. This might be better on the other side, and I'll show you guys that here in just a moment. But let's finish up this very top point on the roof. Okay, then we'll add these on the underside. And so now, since this one has the window one higher... If we do that, it goes directly down to the window, and it looks a little off. But if we did something like that, then that borders it a little bit better. I'm kind of thinking that I like the design with the window below the beam a little bit more, so we'll go ahead and use that. And then we'll go ahead and fill this in. Now the problem with that is we'll have to get rid of that barrel. But we can probably substitute that somewhere else. So if we come back into here, and we'll have to get some torches going because it's pretty dark in this little room. Okay, so now that we have this, we can do that. And then we can either... Oh, I'm thinking we go ahead and add a trapdoor right about there. And it doesn't have to be jungle. If you want to do this, you can do whatever color you want. I think dark oak or spruce would look pretty good if you're following this, the same woods with this build. But so you can do that if you want to, or you can just leave it like that. I think that looks pretty good as well. Now let me go ahead and grab some glass and we'll start filling in these windows. 
Oops. Okay. And for these little holes, these little windows, you could either do glass or you could do fences in those. I think either way it would look good. Since I have glass on me, we're just going to go ahead and do windows in this for now. And then we'll fill in these windows too while we're at it. Okay, so now we've got our upper floor, which is complete. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a quick torch. So, oh, I guess we had quite a few already. We'll grab a few of these torches or, you know, maybe we should try using the lanterns. Let's see what we can work with here. So we can either place two torches right up here where we were originally going to put those upper windows. And I think that looks pretty good. Or we could also go ahead and hang this in the build. But since this isn't really an odd build, it would kind of hang out of place. So I think we'll just keep the torches up here. And then... Hmm. Let's see. Let's go ahead and set it back to day. And then for now, we'll just go ahead and throw in a torch. And we'll go ahead and finish up this roof here. Now for this one, since it is a little bit off, I'm thinking we can go ahead and do these dark stairs along that side. And then we'll go ahead and add the half slabs, pretty much like we were doing a double wide roof. Oh, we'll add that, and that, and that. And so that's what it would look like is that. You can also try doing oak, full oak planks instead of half slaps on this outer one. Or I kind of want to see just how stairs would look. I imagine it'll give it more of a curve, but I want to test it out. Okay, so that's how that would look. And you know... It's not a bad design. I kind of like that. We'll get rid of this weather again. There's got to be a, some kind of cheat for that or code. I got to look into that. Uh, command, I think, is the word I'm looking for there. Okay, now we'll do the same thing on this side. And so I know it said it didn't really need a roof with flare, but hey, this is this is pretty cool in itself. Okay, so now that it's got kind of that curved look to it, I'm thinking we need something right down here. Now, my original plan for this was to use dark oak, but the problem with that is that it kind of goes with the roof, so it blends in a little too much. I'm thinking maybe we try using spruce stairs to match the wall. And it'll kind of cover that beam. Let's just see how that looks. Okay, so it's not bad, but it's still a little weird. So then my second thought for this is to go ahead and try doing fences. So if we lay these down here underneath, it kind of adds a little bit more support to it and then I just want to try something here now what if we did something like this okay so I kind of like that but it's a little obvious on those so what if we switch that around 
So we'll go ahead and start with the gates and then we'll do the posts. There we go. And so I kind of like that. You can't really see this little part on the side, but it adds a little bit more to it. And you know, I'm wondering if there's something that we could do up here if instead of that. Maybe if we did something like so. That doesn't look too bad. Okay. And then we'll come around here and we'll do the same thing. Okay, so now that we've gone ahead and done that, you can't really see it as well from this side, but I think it still looks pretty cool, and if we're ever on the other side, we'll know it's there. And looking at this, it looks like we're missing uh, something right here. There we go. That looks better. And now, one last thing I want to do is right up here, I want to go ahead and switch out those regular planks for oak. Or for stairs, not oak. And then uh, we'll go ahead and add those spruce doors as well in order to finish it off. And so if you wanted to, you could go ahead and use dark oak wood or dark oak doors for that. I think it would look pretty well and it would accent the dark oak that you have for the roof in the frame. But since I'm not a big fan of that door, I went ahead and used spruce. Okay, so that is going to go ahead and do it for our little storage shed. And you guys can go ahead and add more storage in there if you want to. You could throw something up here. I'm going to go ahead and throw a lantern because it's a little dark. But you could stack up some more barrels. You could do some more chests around the place. And you have a lot of options, not to mention all that storage that's up there that if you don't know it's there, it might be pretty easy to not even notice. So if you've got some good stuff that you want to hide up there, go for it. But that is going to do it for today. I hope you guys did enjoy. It actually took longer than I was expecting since we made it such a unique build. But if you did enjoy the build, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you want to see more like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe. In the next video, we will be going ahead and doing uh, something a little bit different. We are actually going to be building our mine, our very first mine in this world. Now, when I say building a mine, I mean we're going to be decorating that mine. And I'll show you guys basically more about what we're doing that, or how we're doing that, in the next episode. So, ladies and gentlemen, until next time. Have an awesome one, and I will see you then. Bye!